Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Love Make Share. I'm Trevor, and not in the shop tonight. We're in the uh, the den. We've got an awesome new craft and workspace here. I say we, because on my right, I've got Whistler. Say hey, Whistler. Hi. And on my left, I got Sprints. Say hi, Sprints. Hi. And we are checking out something cool. We are going to do an unboxing of our, our new Zapbox. So, uh, what's Zapbox? Zapbox, uh, just for a little background, is augmented reality. It's uh, kind of similar to Google Cardboard in that it is augmented reality using your phone. Unlike Google Cardboard though, it doesn't just do rotation, it'll also do positional tracking uh, using the phone's camera. I back this through Kickstarter. This isn't a promotional thing. This isn't uh, an ad or sponsored content or anything. Uh, we just saw the Kickstarter video and we thought it looked cool, so we backed it and uh, it's finally shipped. It's had, it's had a bit of trouble getting to us. It's been so long now, I actually don't remember when we backed this product. Can you remember? Nope. Nope. Can you remember? No. Nope. I think it was like it was January last year or something. No. Oh. It's. It feels like forever ago. So let's take a look at what's inside. Um, it's a nice box, nice and clean. Whoa. Okay, so already we've got some cool stuff happening here. This is this is a calibration grid. Download the Zapbox app to get started. Follow the steps in the app to set up your Zapbox and use the grid below to calibrate your device. So that's cool. So the box is actually a tool to help set up the Zapbox. And then here we've got some other stuff. All right, so here, here we've got, there it is, we've got the headset. So let's, uh, let's zoom in here. Oh, we've got some instructions. Let's just take one second and let's look at this headset. So we've got the lenses right here, a uh, little cutout for your nose. This is kind of nice, a little foam for your face so it doesn't pinch. Uh, and then we've got some little Velcro dots here. You know what, girls? This is very similar to the homemade one that we had. Yeah. Um, we've got, uh, so do you know why this cutout is here? No. That's for your phone's camera. So I, I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping that, I was kind of hoping that this would have a strap on it. Oh no, wait, look. Adjust the position of the head strap according to your head size. But then where's the strap? Maybe it's in the bottom. Okay. Um, awesome. There's a QR code. And then here, we've got, uh, it says, use the cutout to interact with your device. So I guess if we need to press the screen ever, we can kind of stick our finger through the hole here and tap. So that's the headset. We'll do one more look at the headset. Oh, the controllers look rad. Let's hold off on the controller for just one sec. I want to see if there's a... Okay, you know what? No, let's let's talk about the controllers. The controllers are super cool. So this, uh, the controllers tracked using your phone's camera. We've got a cat and a dog playing over here and making noise. Uh, so this is cool. You know what, girls? I have been wondering how the controllers were going to work uh, just with the camera looking at them because we've seen in the videos that 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 these triggers make stuff happen in the games, right? But it's not like these connect to your phone through Bluetooth or anything. Can you hold this over here over top of the box so that the camera can see? So all of these are little tracking points that will that will give you your hands and inside there, the game. there's the control pod. Look at that yeah. little mark. Oh, and they have letters on them. This one's for the left and that one's for the right. Okay. L and R. So you can actually have both your hands inside the game. So that's really cool that it has a visual, it has a visual cue on your hands. Now we have another couple of things. This is something that's gonna be really cool. This is a lens that goes on the phone. So let's just pop off this lens cap. Boom. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So this is a lens that goes over the lens of your camera. Oh, and it's adjustable so that it fits different phones, which is good. Um, so this slips over the camera lens and it gives you a wider field of view because the, the lens on a phone camera, it takes fairly narrow pictures, but we can see all around us, right? 
So this will give us a field of view more like our actual eyes. Let's see, I think that's super cool. So, uh, for some reason I was assuming that there was going to be a, a strap in the box, but apparently there is not. Let's... We want to be aware of our surroundings because we can't see out the side of the box. We should take breaks. If we start feeling dizzy or nauseous, then we should stop using it. Uh, it's reminding us that this product is not a toy, even though we're going to be playing with it. Uh, and if you two are using it, we should probably keep an eye on you. Um, it is not... Okay, there's got to be more stuff in here because it is referring to... Oh, you know what? We're missing a bunch of stuff. Aha! Here we go. Bam. And bam. And bam. And bam. Okay, there's a ton more stuff in this box. Oh, there's a chair. I want to try it. Okay, you found the strap. Great. Let's look at the other stuff we've got. So these are tracking markers. So we will put these around the room on the floors and flat surfaces and walls. And the program will use these to know where flat surfaces are. And white tack. Yeah, this we can use to fix them in place. Could I see that head strap quickly? Um, so we'll, we'll hold off on this head strap. We might end up doing two head straps, one that's adult size and one that's kid size. Uh, and it looks like this is a cleaning cloth, maybe a little microfiber cloth for the lenses. All right, so I think let's let's do one more check to see if there's anything else in this box. So we've got uh, So we've got our tracking markers. We've got our wide angle lens. We have the headset. We've got the head strap, and we have our left and right hand controller. Girls, I think this is pretty cool. Yeah. You want to try it? Yes! Well, you know what? We're not trying it tonight. Come on! My phone is dying. I have a new old phone on the way. Well, thank you very much for joining me and checking this out. Thank you, Sprints. You're welcome. Thank you, Whistler. Welcome. All right. Let's rebox this and we'll give it a try when my new phone shows up. Uh, if you want to see what this looks like, we'll capture some footage from the new phone when it arrives. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and mash that subscribe button. Um, and if you want to be notified when we actually try this out, YouTube's got that little bell thing. I don't know, I haven't been doing videos lately, so I'm not entirely sure how that works. But click the bell, you might as well get a notification when we actually do our next video about this. So thank you very much for watching. And if you want to know more about the Zapbox, hit a comment down below. Beautiful. Alright, good night folks. Good night YouTube.